Hello everybody. Today I'm going to be teaching you the best strategy strategies for mini game mountain bed wars. And this is because first I had no strategies. Then I watched ow, my elbow. <laughs> Anyways. Then I watched Bandai's video, or at least I think that's how you pronounce it. I don't know if I'm pronouncing his name right, but I watched his video, and that helped me a lot, so you guys should definitely go watch it. But I do have some things I would like to add to that, and that's why I'm recording this. So, we're going to just start with whatever I get first, which is probably going to be tiles. I hate tiles. <gasps> Snowball dodgeball, okay. So, this one... I'm just going to tell you Bandai strategy because I have nothing to add to it. His strategy is definitely the best. Stay towards the front, move back and forth, and spam click. Oh. So, as you can see, we're currently winning, but probably not for long. Oh, I died. Oh my gosh, that was so close. Okay. Actually, we might win this. There's an AFK person, I think. Oh, 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 I almost walked right off. So yeah, we won. So yeah, that's pretty easy. It's actually pretty fun. And then you just walk to the next challenge. And the one that I'm actually hoping for is tiles, even though it's my least favorite. It's the absolute worst one ever, because it's almost impossible. Sorry, I have a stuffy nose. I'll try not to stuff or anything. So, ice fishing. Okay. This one, Bandai strategy is really good too, but I do have something to add. So, he said just run and jump and then stop on them to catch the fish. I don't stop, I kind of go like this and keep moving, and that one didn't really work. But you can kind of start moving to the next one, and that makes you get to the next one faster. Which isn't really working, because everybody's getting to them before me. Oh, I got that one. Someone else got that one. Golden! Oh, he got it. Another one, though. Oh, I slid. So, yeah, it's really hard to stop sliding. But, yeah, if... Once you get pretty good at knowing where you're going to slide and how fast, you can just move while you're doing it, which I really like to do, even though I'm not that good at it, obviously. Wait, how'd we lose? We had more points, didn't we? Dang it. Anime world fans. Okay, that was hard to read. Ah. Okay, so I got back, and this is my second one. The first one was ice fishing. We actually won. But then, fading platform. So the best strategy for this is just kind of like and go all the way to the bottom. That sounds really stupid, but it's actually a good strategy because when everybody else falls, all of these tiles will be gone and then they'll die. Like that, see? And then, okay, I died a little sooner than expected, but because your team is actually trying, actually my team had the same strategy as me, but still, we won, which is the best part about this, see? So, and also now you can zoom out if you did that because I died and then I zoomed out while spectating, like that. So that's why the best strategy is to actually to jump down and then remove the other things so people think they can fall down there and then they can't, because you're already down there first. Ta-da. That is the best strategy for falling tiles. Plus now you can zoom out, which really helps for color block. Color block is so much better when you can zoom out. And then I've never made it to the boss, so let's hope we do this time and then It'll just be gameplay, because I don't know what I'm doing. Just like I predicted, color block. So, for this, it's just like the color block game on Roblox. Normally, you just go to the color it says, and then the rest disappear. People fall. Like that guy. And then yellow. And then it does speed up, and eventually it just gets way too fast for me. I'm probably going to die. But, at the start, it's slow enough. And, 
like I said, it's so much easier in third person, because in first person, you can't see around you, all the people's heads are in your way. Third person, you can see that, and you can see the ground around you. Right three times in a row, for real. Anyways, but see, you can see that thing and the ground around you. I know to go to blue, wait, is it blue or purple? It's blue. There goes my teammate. Now it's purple. Oh, oh no, 1v2, green. Yes, okay, 1v1, green again. I really hope that guy dies. Purple, wait, that was purple! Okay, as, there, we won. So, I'm recording right now, Kelly. Thank you. So, yeah. Even if your entire team dies, as long as the other team dies before they get more points, you're gonna be fine. This looks dangerous. I've never actually been here before. I've never beaten the third minigame. So. Terrifying. Absolutely terrifying. This reminds me of that mountain climbing game. I forgot what it's called already. Arctic Expedition, I think. Yeah. Let's hope nobody dies. Oh wait, it's just my team now. I guess that's kind of how it's supposed to work though, isn't it? Yeah. Also, did anybody else notice that you can see through my shirt when I zoom in? It's kind of weird. Okay, so. Now that my team's ahead of me, I know where to go. <laughs> okay. It looks like you cannot climb up here. Okay, this way. And then... I'm not gonna bother with shortcuts. Unless it's like this. This is a shortcut. This is a nice shortcut. Why do you take damage? Oh boy. Boss fight. So like I said, I've never done this. 4,000! 5,000 damage! Dude. No, okay, so holding it in instead of clicking normally does more damage. Like, as if you had a bow or crossbow. But for this, it looks like it just does between 4,000 and 5,000 damage no matter what. How am I taking? How was I even taking damage? Wait, he was targeting the other teammate. Oh, I guess that's that. Oh, so his health was going down. It totally looked like it was still full. Okay, play again. Haha, <laughs> almost forgot to do the outro. Okay, so yeah, I'll probably record another video once I figure out how to beat the boss. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.